Well, if you try to cover up a child sex assault, you will face consequences. That is the goal of a new bill before Colorado lawmakers. The message is clear. Political specialist Sean Boyd joins us from the Capitol now. And Sean, one sex abuse survivor wants to do what he can to try and protect others. And Karen, he says one way to do that is to go after people who know about abuse but don't report it, allowing for more victims. Certain professions, teachers, clergy, doctors are required to report suspected abuse or face charges. But if they don't report for 18 months, keep it secret, that's the statute of limitations, they are free and clear. This legislation wouldn't let them off so easy. Any time I touch that pain, it just, it just wells up. 63 years after Paul Quinn was sexually abused by a Catholic priest, he remains tormented. Talking about the abuse so traumatic, it took him 32 years to open up. We're not talking about repressed memories here. I always remembered it. I could just never talk about it. There's a shame to it. There's a, there's a fear to it. The priest, Jean Clarahan, would go on to abuse other kids before being prosecuted decades later. The church, Quinn says, covered it up. I still remember one note in the file. Handwritten out from the bishop. Jean, I'm, I got a pack of cash ready for you. The DA called, something about a kid, get out of town. Quinn says mandatory reporters like church leaders need to be held accountable. In Colorado, after 18 months, a district attorney can't prosecute someone for not reporting abuse, even if they concealed it purposefully. 18 months just isn't enough. Representative Dapna Michelson Janay, sponsor of a bill that would extend the statute of limitations to three years. The Colorado District Attorney's Council among the supporters. When they don't act and they rob us of that opportunity to intervene, those children continue to suffer at the hands of their abusers and additional children become victims. I'm 78 years old. This happened, what, 63 years ago? Quinn is silent no more. I want to stop. Now, this bill started in the Senate where it initially had a five-year statute of limitations. After pushback from the state's largest teachers union, lawmakers amended the bill to make it that three-year statute of limitations. It did pass the Senate and today unanimously passed out of a House committee, and I think this one will soon be on its way to the governor's desk. Live at the Capitol, Sean Boyd covering Colorado First.